Hey Climbers, Brent here. Are you ready to write your best songs ever? Are you ready to take that next step in your songwriting journey? Well, I want to help you with that. Listening to the Climb Podcast is a great way to get started on your songwriting journey and to learn the basics about the art, the craft, and the business of songwriting. But eventually, you're probably going to need the personal touch. You're probably going to need some one-on-one feedback, some advice, and some help reaching your songwriting goals. And that's what I want to help do for you. I want to help you write your best songs ever. And I want to help you learn the art, the craft, and the business of songwriting, of how to turn pro in your mind and in your behavior before you ever turn pro on paper, before you ever have the awards to hang on the wall. I want to give you the mindsets and the skills to earn that stuff. And so we'll dive into your questions and I'll give you honest answers. And I can help repair your song if it's already written but has a couple bugs and has some opportunities to get better. Or we can help prepare your song if you have an idea, a notion, a title. We can do your own private song title challenge if you want. If you want to get ready for a co-write, if you have a meeting coming up and you want to get your stuff locked down where it's the best it can be, I'm happy to help you do that as well. You can see my calendar, get all the details, and actually book a session at songwritingpro.com slash coaching. That is songwritingpro.com slash coaching. Now, if you're still not sure if a coaching session with me is the right thing for you, let's listen to what this climber had to say about their session. The first time I met with Brent was an hour session face-to-face on Skype. I was pretty excited to have the opportunity for some back and forth discussion about my songs because up until then I had been pressing send on the computer and waiting for days for a written general critique. With the written critiques, I was finding that sometimes I was left trying to interpret them on my own and then comb through what I know to fix what I thought they were getting at. But Brent provided real time interactive feedback based on a solid and deliberate method. It didn't feel random and definitely didn't feel like judgment. In the end, I went away with solution-based critique that made perfect sense to me. I remember being a little worried about wasting time in my session trying to think of every question that I might have so that I could make the very most of it. But once he dove in, and it's kind of a magical thing to witness, His brain just turns and churns until every nook and cranny of that song has been considered, and I just wasn't left with many questions at all. The best thing after my session was just being able to see a clear path ahead and feeling also like my own brain is clicking a whole bunch faster after trying to keep up with his crazy acrobatic ninja fighter type brain. So I highly recommend sessions with Brent. All right, welcome to another song title challenge where the question is, songwriters, how would you write this? This is a fun, creative exercise that mimics what happens in the first 15 minutes of a pro write on Music Row in the sense that before we start putting pen to paper and writing lyrics, let's try to exhaust four or five different conceptual approaches to the title of the song. Maybe we uncover a different way that we can write this that's a bit more clever and spend just a little bit of time up front to create the better concept on the lyrics on the back end. This is, again, a fun creative exercise. It is not a co-write in any way, shape, or form. The climbers, the listeners of the podcast, send in song title ideas, and if you want to send them in, you send them to info at daredevilproduction.com, production singular, there is no S, put song title challenge in the subject line and it'll get into the right folder and then I spring them live to Brent on the podcast and we just go at it. We start to think about different ways we could approach it. If you'd like to do this, we'd love to have you and I don't know, you got anything to add to that? No, this is a kind of infotainment. This is to get you thinking more deeply about your song ideas and just to realize that, wow, there can be some other stuff in here if I just keep on turning that wheel and looking at it from different angles. That's right. And if you hear this podcast and you clicked on it from a post and there's something we missed, you think, oh, that would have been cool if they went this way or that way. Mm-hmm. By all means, throw put it that in the comments, throw it in there, weigh in on like, it. We yeah. want to hear about it. It's, 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 it's exciting. It's fun. So It's a potluck. Uh, bring a casserole. Come on. It's a, <laughs> that's right. Bring your casserole. <laughs> mm-hmm. Are you ready, sir? Never. But when has that ever stopped us? Never. All right. Yeah. So this is from climber Michael Salita. 
Hi, hey, Michael. I feel like that's the right way to pronounce that. If I am wrong, Michael, please forgive me, but I feel silly to sound like I believe he's obviously a climber, and I think he's a member of, over at Freddy. So I've seen okay. him on some stuff. So yeah, Michael, thanks for chipping in here. I'm going to say thank you before I hear it, because I'm going to hate you after I hear it. All right. <laughs> no, here's, the, here's the title. Actually, I, I kind of like this. I'm interested to see where we're going to go with this. But the title is Kiss, as in a... Mm-hmm. So Kiss Me Off. Kiss Me Off. Okay. Now, if this was a rock thing, I'd tell you right where I go with this. <laughs> yeah. And that's a way. We don't want to get banned on here, too. <laughs> yeah, you're in Facebook jail. I'm, I'm having enough Facebook issues at the moment. Of <laughs> you're such an outlaw. <laughs> so let's, let's not work on any other platforms to get me busted. Yeah, so, okay. So uh, letting the title write the song, because that's all we have here, right? We're not in Michael's head, and we don't know what he's thinking. He may not be thinking anything. He might just think those are interesting words. So... Assuming that's the case, these are interesting words. Where do we go? Okay, let the title write the song. I think of, okay, first two words, kiss me. You think positive, right? Okay, kiss me because I want you to kiss me because whatever, obvious. And then kiss off, you think about that is, you know, it's a kiss off. So it's a negative yeah. negative thing. It's kind of telling somebody off or disregarding them, you know, whatever your kind of definition of kiss off is. It's a very colorful dismissal. <laughs> there we go. That's, that's a good way to put it. Thank you, word man. <laughs> so we got these two things kind of both built in here. Hmm. Where do we go with that? But I also think of like, kiss me off the ledge I'm on. Yeah. Kiss me off of what? Yeah. Kiss me off of, right. This ledge I'm on. I've had been having a bad day, whatever. I'm, it's the whole boss is a jerk thing or whatever, or stack of bills, which I'm looking at right now. So anyway, girl, kiss me off this ledge I'm on. So it could yeah. be that thing. Like I'm having a bad day. So just kiss me off. Cause I just, I just want to kiss off my boss, but you know, Hey girl, why, instead why don't you kiss me off this ledge I'm on? It could be that or, or I'm worried about us. What's going on with us. We need to define the relationship kind of thing. So kiss me off this ledge I'm on. I'm close to leaving or I'm upset about us or I just don't know where things are. So it could be that positive thing where you like, it's an interesting title. I do like the title because you don't know where it's going. Get right off the bat, you're going to want to hear this what song. What are they doing? It, it opens a loop that we want to close. Like, I don't know exactly what they're going with this. I've not heard this title before. So w- w- what's going on here? Gets your interest going, which is a great way to start. I call that winning before you're spinning. Yeah. So we got a couple of ways there that would be more positive. Yeah. Is there a way to do that? Kiss me off. Oh, can I just weigh in here? Like, just yeah, like man. Conceptually, like lyrically, kiss me off. Mm -hmm. that could be one of the taglines in the verses right so or in every other line or something i did this and then i did that and i was feeling like this and then she kissed me off (laughs) yeah and you sort of spin it that way or if you can create a little smoke and mirrors in there Mm -hmm. and try to do a kind of an ambush in a certain way Mm -hmm. set up so that you think it's going one way in the lyric and then it brings it back around to kiss me off the ledge that I'm on kind of a thing. Yeah. Or she kissed me off the ledge that I'm, that I'm so on. Kiss me up. Yeah. Okay. I didn't catch that, but yeah, it rhymes with something else that makes you mad, but it isses you off. Right. Yeah. So, okay. But okay. does that sound positive though? Instead of taking me off, it kisses me off. Well, I think if you're morally on the right side of the argument with lyrically, it's as clever as it could possibly be. I mean, right. yeah, because it's, it's something you know. that makes you happy, makes you want to kiss her, right? Girl, sometimes yeah. you just kiss me off. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Because I, I just want to, yeah, I just want to make out with you. You just really oh, kiss oh. me off. Or, this, or the I'm fight say and making a, up thing. I, right? Okay. Like, we're mad, but we're like, you know, making up. And the, I was going to say, sometimes she does this and, and she does that. But you could don't necessarily have to be talking about that girl. But if you do the fight make up thing, you could mm-hmm. be talking directly to her about that. But then you kiss me off. You can say all these things that have like you scratched the car, parallel park in it. You, 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 <laughs> you did this, you did that. You know, you're getting a phone call from that ex or something. And, mm-hmm. that, and then you kiss me off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you really kiss me off, right? <laughs> yeah, you just know how to kiss me off. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, that could be great, dude. That could be fantastic. So it's like she does this stuff to kind of irritate you, but then kiss it, make it better. Is yeah. that the kind of thing? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Cause like, I can't say I, I know this. Naked? When I started dating Anne, like my ex-wife, we're still friends. But when I started dating her, I would find myself laughing, like sometimes out loud, because she would do something that – a previous girl that I dated got fired over <laughs> <laughs> and I would laugh like, this is so funny that I'm, I'm in the moment right now. I'm aware of what just happened and yeah. 
like for whatever reason, when she did it, either I didn't care or it was actually like adorable. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so, yeah. so I don't know. Maybe it could be something like that. Like, cause you kiss me off kind of a thing. It's, it's mm-hmm. things that would normally take you off. Now. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. 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 So I think that's interesting because it is positive and it and not where you would expect it to go. I mean, I don't know where you would expect this title to go, which is part of why I like the title because you don't know where to expect to go. Because I don't really want to go to the, I mean, it could be that kind of like, if you're see me off, goodbye, like kiss me off, I'm leaving. It could be that, which is just a, a weird, if you're leaving somebody and you're mad or she's mad at you, you're not really getting a kiss. I'm, I've, I've heard those country songs that are like, well, we're breaking up. It's not working out. But one more time for old time's sake. I'm like, is that a thing? Maybe it is, but not in my world. So <laughs> that's a thing in like codependent relationships. <laughs> I guess so. I guess it's another in toxic relationships. Yeah. Where you're like, oh, this is everything. It doesn't work. Well, one, one more time. time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so maybe that's just, yeah, I just live a different life. To me as a writer, that, that doesn't ring true. And that's like, that's not a place to go. Okay. You're ticked off. You're breaking up with me. All right. Well, why don't you kiss me off? That sort of yeah. thing, which well, I guess it's more of a rock thing. Or if you are in that place, you can go there, but it's not going to resonate with me as a writer or a listener. I like the positive thing of it. Yeah. You do these little things and yeah, girl, Ooh, you kiss me how off. about you turn me on when you kiss me off? There you go. I like that. Come on. Oh, it just happened. <laughs> That's right. So it could be that, is it just those little things? Because you don't want too much like negativity in the verses, like these little things that tick me off, but it turns me on too. I don't think it would be that negative though. Like I, the spirit of this so, is so fun. You could, right. you could go negative with it because it's so, because you're not really dissing. Like right. it's, it's got to feel about everyday good. stuff that maybe people are going to bicker about in, mm-hmm. a, in a relationship. It could be to have a fight thing. Money, you over, you overspent the checking account again. And we bounced, you bounced that check and you different things that different people do in relationships. And you could just have fun with that. And, mm-hmm. and then, and you kiss me off. You, and then you kiss me off that <laughs> yeah, ledge. I was standing, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, or you kiss me off and that turns me on and that. that yeah. You, or, there you go. And you kiss me off and that uh, turns, turns me, me on. on and, <laughs> yeah. Kiss me off. Then you turn me on. So it could be that thing. Just the back and forth. Those, those yo-yo kind of relationship kind of things too. You know, you, yeah, fight, you, make like, up, um, you fight, you make up. What's the, there's an old thing. Van Halen covered the song, but it's a big, bad bill of sweet William. Now a big, bad bill is sweet. William now he's taking out that trash married lives don't change him somehow uh-huh. yeah, talking about how he's all in love with this girl and big uh-huh. bad and sweet William now it could be like that just all these things that when she's nagging at you to take the garbage out or she, she wants you to go out with her friends and wear this instead of that or yeah. those things that we gotta do as bachelors when we gotta all of a sudden the house smells good and there's stuff in the bathroom there's like towels in the bathroom that aren't disgusting that aren't to be used yeah, yeah, and like, yeah, and you could just so make fun of that, and it used to, yeah. it used to piss, you know, used to tick me off, but then she kissed me off or something like yeah. that. Yeah, it'd play off of that too. Kiss me off the couch. She kissed me off the. There you go. Kiss me off the couch. I didn't want to go anywhere. Then she kissed me off. <laughs> kissed me off the couch. Or I'd had it with women. I was just done, and then she, yeah, then she kissed me off the ledge I was on. That's it. I'm done with women. I'm just taking a break. Whatever. And then she kissed you me that you're on, you know, or you what, off the sidelines. Or maybe how about a time like on a date if you kind of outkick your coverage on the mm-hmm. on the restaurant you picked, and you're like, oh, you get the bill, and you're like, <laughs> you pucker up when you, <laughs> <get the> <laughs> yeah, and you're like feeling really bad about it, and then she kissed me off right off that ledge, like I did. Then it was all it worth did. it. It was yeah. all worth it. Yeah. yeah, I'd have paid twice that amount to have have her kiss me off. Yeah. I'm trying to think of those, like those, those things that at the same time kind of annoy you and also turn you on when she's playing hard to get, when she's, you oh, know, you that sort yeah. of thing, when she gives you the cheek instead of the lip and that kind of, that kind of stuff. It's like, oh, you're kissing me off. Like, <laughs> you know, it's hard to get, it makes me want it more, you value it more, but kind of takes yeah. you off, but you also kind of like it. It's the game kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Basically playing those little games. So it'd be okay, something that, like that. that. Kiss that's me. another concept where, yeah, you just spell all that out and then that still works with, and it just turns me on when she kisses me off. Mm-hmm. Like, cause you get so. Yeah. She just, she just gets you all wound up. Yeah. yeah. It just wags the finger at you. Like, no, and she's like not. later. Yeah. Ah, she's like, no. me off. <laughs> I'm mad, not mad. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Michael, that is probably not at all what you were thinking, but maybe it was. <laughs> so, I don't know. there's something helpful there. That was fun. Are we out of time was, already? Well, was... we're about like 15 minutes in already. So, dang, that was good. I mean, that I, was. I, I had fun with that. I want to write was. that. Good I job, write Michael. Call, Michael, call Johnny. <laughs> So, hey, you might have heard this at the beginning of the podcast, but also just to remind you here at the end, I do one-on-one coaching sessions. I do personal song title challenges. People call me up and we'll do a song feedback session or we'll do a coaching session where they just throw titles at me and we just riff on it just like this and help them get their best ideas for prepping for co-writes, prepping for writer's retreats, prepping for just their own solo projects, that kind of stuff. It's fun. I mean, you can tell on here. I enjoy this stuff. I'm not scared of it. So we get into that stuff. But the thing is, you don't have to share it in front of the whole climb community. And so if you're interested in a personal song title challenge or just asking your questions about the business, I'm happy to answer anything I can. Uh, I'll be completely honest and transparent with you. If I know the answer, I won't share the answer. But yeah, you can get all the details on that. You can see my calendar. You can book a session at songwritingpro.com slash coaching. That is songwritingpro.com slash coaching. We'll hook you up. There you go, guys. All right. That brings us to the end of another killer song title challenge. Once again, send in your song title. You can send in as many as you want. Send them to info at daredevilproduction.com and put song title challenge into the subject line. Again, info at daredevilproduction.com. Production is singular. This podcast exists because we want you to win. So keep on climbing. And we'll see you at the top. Song title challenge.